Hi, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing good. Okay, so this request is from John V or Han V. The J might be silent. I don't know. Right, and they want to know: Is your mother toxic? Now, I was thinking about that. I'm going to generalize that. That way, not everyone can just go with mother. I'm going to say: Is this person toxic, or are you wrong? So, Ja. Um, John, John V, you know, we might be talking about your, you know what I mean? You're coming here for your mom, so you put your mom in your perspective. You know what I mean? So whoever you're coming here for, put them in your mind. And that's who I'm going to be analyzing, okay? That might be your mom. It's probably going to resonate more so from people with toxic moms just because that's my, you know what I mean? That's their request, so that's the main reason I'm doing the reading. So it's going to be someone that's like a mother, maybe stepmother energy. Uh, that could be anyone. Okay, yeah, no, wicked stepmothers in your life. It could be anybody. They could be bosses. They could be your dad. They could be your husband. They could be anybody. They could be your wife. Ah, okay. Yeah, we're not going there. Those are pretty toxic people. All right. So, is this person toxic? All right. And it's a, a, this person, I want to say that you know. It's got to be someone you know. All right. Like, you know them, know them in person. You've done met them in person, sat and ate dinner with them at least once in your life, something like this. You know what I mean? You can't just pick a random person either. Okay. Option one is the bardo. Option two is the creator. And option three is the king. I'm going to hold them up because I'm trying to learn how to do that. Okay. Oh, these all look like eyeballs. People with the, ah, hold up. I'm coming, I'm coming, all right, I'm coming. Trying to figure out each time I do this, I go into it with a new a new idea on how to do it. All right. Today's idea is like this. Can I fit it? Angles. Angles, Nikki. Focus. All right. Oh my elbow. Okay, there we go. Bye -bye. Okay, so option one it will be the bardo. Option two will be the creator. And option three will be the king. Burm, 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 burm. Okay, so I will see you at your choice or at the uh, when we do this again after I do my shuffles, you know, or you can stay for the shuffle. It's your business. Okay, so I shall find out if they are toxic. I don't feel toxic at all, which is a fantastic way to feel. So, I mean, I want to say maybe not. Maybe no one's toxic. We do got the sword up there. It makes me think of the sword and the stone. Why? I don't know. Maybe someone's name is Arthur. Oh, look, we got the king cards of King Arthur. Ooh, okay. But anyways, um, King Arthur had a destiny. He was the only one that could pull the sword out of the stone. All right. He was supposed to be the ruler of England. Okay. And it was meant to be. Oh, I love the Disney version of that one. That's my favorite one. All right. The sword and the stone. I love that movie. I liked Merlin. Merlin was really cool. Even Mad Madam Mim. I think that's what her name was, right? Mad Madam Mim. Yes. I liked her. She, I mean, she was annoying as fuck, but I liked her. Oh, and that little scene where he gets turned into a chipmunk. And he meets the little girl chipmunk. <gasps> oh, goodness, it's so cute. Okay. Yes, that was a cute movie. How did it end? I remember that part where he's doing the dishes. Oh, poor boy had to do all that work. I like the part how Merlin with time travel, he'd come back, he'd have snow on himself, and he'd have, he had them, them boxers with little hearts on them. <laughs> If I ever see a pair of those, I'm buying them, all right? You would think you'd see them. I've never seen them. Just some white boxer shorts with hearts on them. I would think Valentine's Day would roll around and you would see them everywhere, but I've never seen them. Not at my stores, like, which is nowhere. I don't really shop for clothes, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, I do not like to shop for clothes. This, this where did I get this? I don't remember when or where I got this shirt. It was in a bargain bin for sure. I got a thing for t-shirts. I collect t-shirts. 
So I like to buy really cheap t-shirts I see everywhere. I hate when a t-shirt costs more than $10. Oh, I hate when a t-shirt even costs $10. mm 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 T-shirt doesn't cost that much money, people. In my, in my mind, no, no. And it kills me to go over $10 for any type of t-shirt. You know? Yes. So when I see a nice $5, $10, or like three for 10 t-shirts, something like this, oh man, do I go picking them out? I don't know. I like t-shirts. I was doing laundry yesterday and I have like a stack of t-shirts this big and I'm like, really? I like t-shirts. Okay. So yeah. And I like, I remember one of my t-shirts that I got in my collection that was in Big 106. What are they called now? 105.9 FM, whatever, big 106, that's what they were called back then, that's what my shirt says too, all right, there was a Mardi Gras, they did a hot, in Hollywood, Florida, they did a Mardi Gras, all right, and I don't know, they had these floats, and they were throwing beads, I still got the beads from that shit, but um, the big 106 float rode by, and they had t-shirts, and dude looked me dead in the eye, I was like, can I get a t-shirt? All I want is a t-shirt. Oh, a dream. That's a dream I want. I go to basketball games. I used to go to basketball games just to try to get a t-shirt. Oh, I loved going to Miami Heat games, though. They were fantastically fun, okay? Especially at the beginning. The do 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 I can do it. Okay. They used to have the flame. Oh, God. Was it fun? I loved going to basketball games. They were fun. Hockey games? Oof, I was cold. I went to hockey games with my dad. Ugh, they were boring. I don't know. I liked that he would get me a t-shirt. He got me a t-shirt. I had a little Florida Panthers t-shirt. Okay. Yes. T-shirt collector. I went to a basketball game with him once. I invited him out to a basketball to a heat game. He bought me a foam finger. It was the Christmas game. Hold up. What year? Don't know. But it was the year where the Lakers played there. And it was a Christmas game. I know this. And, uh. Yeah, I invited him out. He bought me a foam finger, and I was like, yes, foam finger, one of the checklists, one of the bucket things is completed. I got the foam finger, okay? But, um, yeah. Oh, man, I loved going to Heat Games for those flames. Okay, but what the hell was the point? What brought me to the Miami Heat Game? Where, why did I enter the Heat Game? I don't remember. And it's hot in here. The sun's coming up. It's almost noon. I might have to go open a window. Do I have my water? Oh, God. But, yeah, when you go to a heat game, they got this huge intro. They've been doing it, like, since the 80s. Like, it's it's the same fucking... They've been doing it since the Phil Collins song came out. All right. I'm, I'm almost certain of this. Okay, so Collins released In the Air Tonight, and they were like, we're rolling with that forever. <laughs> and, like, now every heat game that opens, that's all they do is they play Phil Collins In the Air Tonight. And they got these torches. They do all this pyrotechnics to go with the song. And they make that song badass as hell. It's not boring no more at all. They make it all, like, super interesting. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you don't even realize it's a fucked up song about getting cheated on, you know? You think it's about... I don't know, something inspiring. <laughs> but then, I don't know. Yeah, I like those games. Yeah, the hockey games weren't bad. They were interesting to watch. See, that's the thing. The heat game was fun for all the aesthetics that they threw in my face. The cheerleading, the dancing, the old people coming out and dancing. You know, all that jazz. <laughs> but uh, hockey was interesting for the actual mechanics of it. Like, I totally was getting it. But I, I didn't really understand why everybody was so pumped up. Like, whoa, 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 people. All right? I remember watching some... Do- I fell asleep. But I watched a documentary about hockey. It was like about... The, what the hell are those people called? I don't know. They're a particular, like, spot on the hockey team. God, I'm not, I don't do sports. Holy fuck. If you do sports, do not rip me. Because I don't do sports. So there's no point. And I will never care. So there's no point. But, yeah, you know, like, how there's, like, uh, forwards and small forwards. This is basketball. Um, <laughs> football people. I don't know. But yeah, okay, there's different things. And they were like those people. And they were like all aggressive. And they were only hired to do that. Not hired. What would you call that? I'm getting it. Okay. 
I'm, I'm drowning. Okay, I'm trying to talk about sports and I'm drowning and I'm over it. But yeah, definitely hockey was interesting to watch. But it was cold as fuck. And the, that's why I ended up with the shirt because I needed another layer, man. I was freezing and I came from outdoors in Florida. It was burning hot out there. And they bring me in there and it's like ice skating. Like, oh God. Ice skating was easy for me. I picked that up super easy. In the middle of Florida, a bitch knew how to ice skate. How the fuck? Well, I was very good at rollerblading. And it was basically the same thing. I roller skated forever and then a transition to roller blades, all right, when they came out and they were they were nice and fun. I preferred them because I didn't have to tie any laces. I'm not someone who enjoys laces. I, mean, I don't like shoelaces. I, I tie knots on the ends, and I, I think I get one. I get one good bow in there, and I always just slide my shoe in and out, like my foot in and out the shoe. I don't like shoelaces. So when rollerblades came out, they had the little click thingies, you know. So I was like, oh, I could do this. So I did that. I switched over, and I was like, this is nice. And it was a little more like I don't know, blady, I guess, you know. So then when I went from I wanted to try ice skating at the ice skating, the Miami Ice Skating Arena, I think that's what it's called. I went there and it was really good. It was easy, but it was terrifying. I don't really like it. It scares me. I'm still not, I'm not, I'm not good at it. I just can do it. That's what I say. I can do it. I can get it done, but I am not good at it at all. And it terrifies the hell out of me. And my kid likes ice skating. So it's like, I'm sorry. I can't take you. I I can watch you while you ice skate. And I've took her so many times and I've just powered through. And any of the times I took her, it was always like, one of those outdoor rinks so it's like the rink was hella like not maintained and like there'd be dirt patches and all right man i just didn't want to fucking die i don't know why i feel like that, that ice is gonna kill me i'm worried about hitting my head all right ever since i hit my head that time with my with the, with the in the middle of the night when i was sleeping ever since i hit my head that day I don't want to hit my head no more. That shit hurt really, really bad. And I told you, it left an actual dent in my motherfucking head, all right? That head, is, I don't know. I did something there. <laughs> that happened when I was, like, 14. So it's like, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm fine. I am the product I am now, and I've always been this way. But still, I don't like getting hit in the head. I'm afraid of it. So it's like ice skating equals getting hit in the head for me for some reason, and it scares the crap out of me. So I really don't really enjoy it. But man, have I taken her anytime she ever wanted to go and it'd be so fucking cold. Outdoor rinks are very unpleasant for me. We have one that they make right out here. I moved in by the time it was already withered away and shitty and no one used it. But ooh, peacock. So I didn't get to take her there. But I'm also right next to a river, like a real little mini like river. And it freezes over and they actually open it up for skating. And I was going to take her when we moved, but we moved too late. We didn't get here in time. But next year, I'm going to be taking her. So I'll probably get better at it, especially since it's going to be like an actual water source, not a baseball field that was like hosed over and matted down and like called ice. Like that was terrifying. God, what was that? Was it? Mm-hmm. Try to murder me. All right. So is your, are, is your person toxic? What do I need? Do I need anything else? Um, Maybe. Maybe it's. Good Lord, come on. Do I got any toxic parts? I've totally ignored. Usually I'd be trying to get into the zone here. So it's like, I don't even know. You're per- Who knows if your person's toxic? If your mother, I want to say, we're gonna, I'm going to be slipping up and calling it mother. So don't get offended if I do. Be bold and break make the first move. Huh? So I really don't. Man, I can't wait to open these cards up because, okay, for the previews, I call them the previews, okay? For all the previews, they're not showing me. For this movie, they're not letting me know. All right? They're not letting me know if they're talking stuff. Not in the previews, not at all. It's like a, it's going to be a plot twister. I hope not. Oh, God, snake in the grass. Snake in the grass. But what's that? What's that burnt? That's one of my burnt cards. Oh, wow. With fire. Interesting. <laughs> if you're here, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is one of my little burnt cards. I actually burnt it when I was smoking a joint one day when I was making the cards. 
<laughs> and then I got the fire card, all right? So, all right, I think we're ready. <gasps> oh, God, that's cold. But kind of refreshing. Okay. Hold on. I can't leave that water there, and I have no tissue. Oh, no, I must use my T-shirt. Okay. This T-shirt's got so many holes in it from picking up my kitty cats. They like to take their little back feet and hook them into my stomach. And it's like, what are you doing? My t-shirt. All right. Oh, my God. I don't have a fingernail anymore, so picking up cards is not easy. And I had to file all my nails down today a bit. So they're, like, not sharp at all. So it's like they're real dull. Okay, grabbing cards and going to be fun. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I think it's worth it. I really like the suggestion, you know? And I can understand the the reasoning behind wanting it, I guess, if you're someone that wants to look at them all at once. This is a little tough for me, though, okay? But I'll do it. Okay, so, hi, I'm back. Now, this is a request from John V or Han V. I'm not sure how to say it. And it's, is your mother toxic? But to generalize it for anyone else that's coming here for entertainment... I'm going to say, is your person toxic? That's what I'm going to title it as. And then the kicker is, are, are you wrong? So this is when you know the person is toxic and you're like, like you, you're, you're, you're basically, you're, you mark this person as toxic and you're coming here maybe to see if maybe so there's something that's making them toxic. Maybe they're not actually toxic. We're trying to maybe hope that that ain't true, right? So if you don't have someone in your life that's toxic, it's just entertainment, people. Okay, don't let it, don't let it dictate you. So option one, we have the Bardo. Option two, we have the Creator. And option three, we have the King. I almost called it the Knight. So that's interesting. So go ahead and um, pick your option, and I'll see you at your pile, okay? Bye. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm hungry all of a sudden. I just got started. All right. Option one, the bardo. Okay, let me try to get close. I'm going to start really trying to help. You know, I mean, do that. And know that when you first, if you're someone that watches the video and it's like, if it's not finished processing or whatever, you're not getting the HD format. I noticed that while I'm looking through t for timestamps or something, it's always blurry. You can't see it. And it's like, if you watch it later, you can. So it's dumb. But if you're someone that likes to see the cards, there you go. Okay. So the bardo. With the sword. And it's just making me think that your mom's a gossip. Okay, your mom's one of those people that like to get on the phone and talk to maybe all their family members, all their friends, all their things like this. All the bad ones about your personal life. Okay? Because we have the ship, and we have the Lord, and we have the coffin. So it's like, they talk about, I want to say, you. Right? So that's who is this person? I want to say someone that discusses your personal life. They keep a really close eye on you. Okay? They likely have photos of you, too. We have the camera, the fishbowl lens. So they got some photos or maybe even some video footage of you. Things like this, okay? What is not here is the key. So I want to say they're not necessarily in your life anymore. Absence, I don't know. Or maybe they were absent during, uh, like, you guys didn't really have that close of a relationship when you guys were in each other's lives. But definitely, you're, I want to say your mom, because this is likely your mom. But whoever this person is to you, your person is someone that really likes to, I want to say, share the news, all right? Spread the news, to say the least, because we already assume what kind of news this is, because you say this person's toxic. This is skulls and bones here, people. Okay, that's like some dark stuff. So it's like this person might have a dark side. So it's like, what kind of gossip are they spreading? They might be spreading nasty gossip. But like I said, we're trying to figure out if they are toxic. So I'm assuming this is all positive until I get some negative energies. And if I don't ever get those nasty energies, that means they, they're not toxic. And I'm going to tell whatever story plays out here. All right. You're very close to achieving your goal. So they're very goal-driven. What's their goal? I have no idea. Inspiration, growth, and absence, and successful career. Oh, they're, they're career-driven. Growing their career. They're inspired. So if they're in an if they're absent in your life right now, it's because they're having a moment of inspiration. All right. Isis goddess of magic, I asked thee to bring your inspiration to me. So they've been inspired by something. 
okay? And it's it's to grow. I don't know. And absence, they're not going to be around very much. And it's a successful career. A happy working environment, pay raises and promotions. So it's going to, I want to say, contribute to that, okay? Like, so I feel like that's what it is. That doesn't mean they're not toxic, though. So peacock, as we said, they could easily be very toxic. They're a peacock. They got peacock energy, you know? All of y'all's people, all the piles, they all got peacock energy. But this is a real serious-looking peacock. Look at this peacock. Try to move closer for you, pal. That peacock. Very serious motherfucker, all right? This is a, a rabbit card. And it was in reverse, though. So it's like, I want to say they're... I want to say they're 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 not really dating. <laughs> they're not someone that's dating. I would say they might look good, but they ain't got no no sex going on. So if this is your mama, your mama ain't getting laid. I'm sorry, you asked. This is what's coming out. Ugh. I don't want to talk about it either. But we gotta go there to get there, guys. We gotta go through it to get to it. You gotta hear the ugly truths. Okay. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe your mom might be getting feeling. I want to say. Here comes some energies in it. Yeah, that's what it is. So your mom might look good, and she needs to know if she still got it. I don't know. And that might be making her toxic. If she is unable to feel like she is sexy on her own. Like, okay, if whoever this person is is unable to feel sexy all on their own. Like, they don't feel sexy without someone else saying, hey, you look sexy. You know? Then I want to say they're going to end up being toxic. This person, like the, that peacock card, is literally like a like a coin flip here. All right, knowledge. This person's extremely knowledgeable. I want to say on all sorts of matters. It could be literally school matters. It could be occultic matters. It could be, I want to say history, anything. Okay. But knows a lot of. I want to say knows a lot about everything. Just a little bit about everything. Maybe a, a master of all, but but um, I mean not a master of all, a knower of all, but a master of none. Something like this. Okay. Yes, the bird's card. A gossip. All right. Yeah. I want to say about appearances. You see how they're looking here? So it's like this person really cares a lot about their appearance. Okay. So there's definitely some va vanity coming in. I'm sniffing people being vain. But being vain doesn't mean bad. Okay. We have the Lord card, you know. So they could have some very emperor and empress energy going on here. So... All right, they might look good and they know it and they're confident. That's what I'm saying. I feel like for your person, I feel like it's trying to point to more so that they have their own confidence. Like they're, you know I mean? They cause gossip, so to speak. So I feel like we're leaning more towards them not being toxic. Okay? But I feel like they they behave toxic because you got brought here. And that's the peacock card, I feel like, okay? But with growth, I feel like this is someone that can grow. I feel like, if anything, they're working on themselves. Fortune in reverse. Okay, so that's just making me think again, okay, about the successful career and having to put things on hold. So basically, this person's having to put, I want to say, giving others attention. They're having to focus on themselves and receiving attention. And... That's why I said for this growth and this successful career through this inspiration for this ship here, you know what I mean? With this fortune in reverse, this person has experienced, a, a, I want to say, a very hard misfortune. They could have lost like all of their money, been homeless, something like this. You know what I mean? Something happened where a destiny card went in reverse, like it went upside down, you know? It, it, you know what I mean? A total 180. So this would, and then it's the king of cups underneath the boat. So it's like, and they had to move away from that energy. So it's like, did they get consumed by this energy or did they move away from it? All right. The sword, we're trying to figure it out. Be bold and make the first move. All right, reconnect. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. They might have been toxic. They might have toxicity in them. And they might have had a period in their life where they were toxic. How toxic? No idea. We got real cool blue and greens. All blues and greens coming out right here, people. With passions in reverse. So I feel like any of this toxicity, I feel like is very cool, all right? Cool as a cucumber. It's making me think of seven, Kevin the Sea Cucumber. Okay, so this person might get a lot of fans. Yeah, okay, so that's what it is. This person attracts a lot of people because they have peacock energy. 
And I feel like that can go all sorts of ways. And this person's had to be toxic towards toxic. This person's had to fight fire with fire. That's what it is. So this person's had to fight fire with fire. We have the sun, the moon, and the mountains and the rivers, okay? So I feel like, yeah, this person's, I'm going to say, got some love scorn in them too. So uh, I don't know. They're a little angry. Something about love has got them angry. Sleep, you know what I mean? As I'm saying, I think they've been sleeping on themselves. And I feel like, that's why I said, key indicator here for you to know is about their self-love. Are they happy? Do they think they're sexy? Do they know they're sexy? Or do they ask other people to fulfill that void for them? Like, when this bird card pops out, like, this is your person here. And when they go out on the scene, are they trying to get the attention from those people? Are they, like, waving their wings, like, look at me, senpai? Or are they just doing them? That's how you have to figure it out. Okay? Because literally, I'm getting 50-50s here. All right? Some of them are dead. But majority is starting to rule over. So majority of y'all, they are not toxic. So we started at 100%. And we done dwindled. I want to say I went down to zero. And then I shot up to 50. And now I want to say we're going to dissolve it from there. Because, you know, I mean, we're going to find out if your person is someone that can reconnect. Because they seem to want to try. But it might be pretend. With the seven of pentacles in this bird card, it might just be pretend. African violet spirituality, it's time to connect with what you believe. Right next with reconnect. Okay, so if this person has a spirituality practice, they are not toxic. I feel like they they maybe have been, but they are transitioning that. With the ship card, ten of swords, they've reached the ten of swords in their mind, I want to say. And they're moving into spirituality. Kisses cards, they're going to do a total 180, man. And they're going to, I want to say, they're going to have a, yeah, like a dark night of the soul type thing. And they're going to, um, like, you know what I mean, have a, a, a newfound respect in life. I want to say maybe after this misfortune that happens to them, it's going to, that maybe something really rough happens, all right? Knowledge, I feel like you know what it is that happens, right? Goddess, or you know what happened, all right? Healing feminine energies, there it is, okay? If we're moving, we're up to 75% here now, people. 78% of y'all, they are not toxic. They're healing their feminine energies. And for the ones that are, those 25% of y'all that are, know that that's why they're toxic. They have imbalance in their, in their, their, their um, I want to say, they're a princess. They're not a queen. You know what I mean? So uh, they're a prince. They're not a king. So what is that? A king is someone, a king and a queen. There's someone who's a fully developed and matured and understanding. They have a balance of feminine energies. So this person, I want to say, has is, I want to say, um, for the 75% of y'all, as I'm saying, take it where it resonates. The 25% of y'all, they're not goddess energy or god energy. They may have the potential because it's in their genes. Everyone is, you know, it's in us. But um, they're at princess, prince stage, where they're immature, they're acting stupid. Think about that. And I mean, things like this. They're not ready to step into a god slash goddess, king slash queen position. So they, I want to say, fall back into old patterns right away. They stay in a circle, all right? So this is like a story that's playing out here, people. And, we're, and I'm giving you clues to help you find out for yourself, because I can't really tell you at the end of the day, I never met this person. But definitely the clues to finding out if this person is toxic, because we already got peacock energy, like I said, is how they handle their feminine energies. It's uh, How much of a bitch are they? Are they just a big, nasty bitch? All right? I want to say a, <laughs> a big bitch. Hey, one big, nasty bitch. Big, white bitch look like Aguilera. <laughs> That's the song. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yes. If they're just a big, nasty bitch, I want to say, like, full-blown, like, a bitch from the morning till the sun comes up, they're toxic. If they're having ups and downs, they've been through things. We're not sure yet. But definitely, there's a majority of y'all, 70% of y'all, your person is someone who's been through something very toxic. They're a peacock. They got peacock energy. They know it. They get inspired. They go start working or whatever. They have, they've healed their feminine energy. They got spirituality to them. They've reconnected with themselves. They got a whole bunch of knowledge about all these things. And they try to share this knowledge. That's part of like healing feminine energies. I feel like that's mother. Once you become king slash queen, that's when you're mommy slash daddy too. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like you start to care about other people, whether they care about you or not. You give a shit because you start to see other people as just children that need help. 
Okay, literally, you start to see them for their inner child, not for who they are. They could be 50 years old, and you can see exactly what the hell they need to be mommed in. And, and if you're a good mom, I'm going to say you're someone that needs to step into that position and mom people. Hey, have some children. Hey, but you know what I mean? Basically, that's what it is. So some of you, they weren't fit to be that that role. All right. They weren't there. They were a princess or, you know what I mean? They weren't queen yet. They weren't, you know what I mean? King or queen, prince, you know, they, mom, they weren't mommy or daddy. Not like spiritually, not like inner child, like their inner child wasn't there. So uh, inner child issues play out onto the children when they're adults. Okay. Know that. So at the end of the day, I feel like don't be angry at this person. If your mother's toxic or you're, if you're, you know what I mean? Whoever this person is, don't be angry about that. I mean, yes, you could be angry. Feel your feelings, but I'm saying a way to let it go, a way for me, what I have, I've let things go, is I realize that they was fucked up, and they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. And I look around and I see that like 80% of the world had the same thing. All of my friends had fucked up families. All of my friends had problems. Did not matter the financial situation. Okay, they all had their own gossip going on behind their doors, and some shared. Everyone loved to tell me their issues, their problems, their things. So I heard about all sorts of stuff. Okay, um, in my life. So yeah, absence. I didn't really have parents around. So I said, like, not all parents can do the job. They do their job. They do their part. They might do their best, but not. And I mean, so it's like, and if they got a fucked up inner child from some shit, they can. Put it, push it onto the children, all right? It's in here, eight, you know, the mountain card, blockages, all right? So, yes, I want to say, so now back on track for the majority of y'all that, that are not toxic, okay? We got the fortune card with the mountain. So it's like, I feel like your person has been blocked financially for a very long time. And they're, that's why they're seizing their opportunity. So you might think they're toxic because they're like, I want to say, uh, ditching you or running off on you or something like this. No, just know this is something that they've been trying to, I want to say, get going for a while. Like this is something that they've been thinking about forever. It's like, and don't get angry or what is this? Don't get angry. Oh my God. Oh. Don't get angry about. <sighs> Throw that phone in the toilet. Anyways. So we got, um, I got, con now I got confused. I'm so sorry. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. They've been blocked. Something, someone, something, something's been blocking this person. All right. I want to say completely getting in their way, like intentionally. And they want to do, I want to say they, they're finally like, like, I want to say they're finally free from that. Whatever that is. Maybe it was a financial thing. Like maybe they were trapped financially. I don't know. Maybe they, they owed money or something and they don't have to work whatever job they were working now. They can work whatever job they want to, something like this, all right? So don't feel like they're, I want to say, like, like that's what I say, like, like they're abandoning you or something like this. Like it could be because they're, they're having to take inspiration. When inspiration strikes, you have to hit. It's like an iron. You have to strike when the iron is hot or else it ain't going to crispen up them clothes, okay? It ain't going to do the job. So it's like this person, they're recognizing that the iron's hot for them and they're taking off and doing it and... That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, this might be a timeline thing. So, five. I don't know. And then the scorpion card. So yeah, definitely we got some Scorpio energy. So it's like, if you um, with your thighs. I feel like you've been working on your thighs, and this person's literally coming through and say they keep working on those thighs about leg days wow okay anyways so i want to say yeah for the majority of you 75 percent of you i'm still stuck at 75 75 percent of you you guys think your parents are toxic i want to say they're career driven toxic people maybe you know maybe you argue with them a lot things like this but i feel like there's a perspective to them that you don't maybe understand so whoever this person is for you remember like i said my main angle is a parental figure mother specifically and that's kind of what came through I want to say they had extreme misfortune in their life. They had lots of blockages, and I want to say that's transformed for them. All right, they had a goal. I want to say they've had goals. They've had goals in their life, and someone or something has really honestly stopped that. And they have to, I want to say, attack their goals. They feel like they've been inspired, 
and be bold and make the first move. Maybe they've tried and it's successful and they, maybe they applied somewhere to work somewhere and they got the job and they, you know what I mean? And they have to take off on you and maybe they're, it's a busy job and they're, they're not going to be around a lot. And I feel like, may, or maybe that your, 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 your mother is just maybe, um, busy working because things like this and you worry if she's toxic, you know, I want to say, no, there was a big transformation that took place in their life over time. And um, some of them completely got stuck in this blockage. That's the 25% of y'all. 25% of y'all, when that misfortune struck, I want to say they stayed in that energy. They didn't grow from the experience. They had potentials to grow from the experience. We have the goddess card. So it was a test of character, a test of strength a test of humanity, things like this. And this was in their life. It doesn't mean it's happening now, all right? So it could have been before you were born even. They didn't mean like, who the hell knows? But this happened in their life. And 75% of you, I want to say, at first it was 50-50. I couldn't tell because we had the peacock card. It's like, I want to say, looks play into this. So it makes it really hard. That's why a lot of them failed because of their looks, okay? They looked really good. They had good looks to them, okay? And a lot of them, not that they don't look good still, but they failed because they let their looks, I want to say, consume them. They, they cared more about the vanity in things. And then 75% of y'all people, they went into spirituality. They sunk into spirituality. They, I feel like they probably had, I want to say, vanity issues. They probably... They probably had insecurities and things like this, and they probably had to build themselves up. And they might, you might have felt abandoned while they had to do this spirit. They probably had to go on a spiritual journey during that time. And maybe you saw them, um, maybe you, maybe you've left their life since you've seen them, and they've gone on this spiritual journey, okay? And they've reconnected with themselves, I want to say, and they've become more of a real mother, a real true mom. Okay, and then, yeah, I want to say they, they probably recognize where they've been wrong. So if this is someone you haven't talked to, I want to say maybe call your mom, okay? But let me tell you, you, you won't know unless you, you're in work, you're in, you're, you're in talking with her. You could call her and she could very well be uh, uh, toxic. We're assuming she's still toxic. The only way for you to decipher which side of the, which side on the scale you're on here is, I want to say, whether or not they're into spirituality, whether they got self-recognition, you know what I mean? how into their appearance they are about, you know I mean? Do, you can have, I want to say, self-confidence and know you're gorgeous and beautiful and sexy and know that people are staring and drooling at you all the freaking time. But it's like, what's on your mind? You see how she's blind? She's super sexy, right? She's getting got her titty hanging out. She's got like no shame. She's just doing her, right? And it's like bringing it in, bringing in all the money and the attention. And I want to say people throwing their panties at her. But at the end of the day, she's got a blindfold on. She ain't doing it for none of those reasons. I feel like she just knows that she looks good and she's just doing whatever the hell she's doing. And people are just appreciating it regardless. So it's like, I feel like that type of energy can bring success and fame and good, good careers, you know, and growth. But a lot of people can get consumed by it. Egotistic stuff, ego stuff, you know, it was like a ba battle of the ego and did your mother or person pass or fail? I don't know. You have to talk to them. Okay. Small percentage of you, they failed. Something about your thighs though, man. You, 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 this person definitely says your thighs are amazing. You got, you must have been working on your thighs and they're saying, go, go. Yes. Like they're cheering you on. That's probably for the, I feel like that's for all of y'all. Whoever this is, as I said, this person cares about their body. It could be a parental figure and they're like, they work out or something like this. You know, they care about the body in a toxic way sometimes maybe, but for most of you, it's in a healthy way. 75% of you, it's in like a way like it's cheering you on. Like if you've been working out, like doing squats. So you're going to think it's doing squats, okay? That makes me think of this guy I met in Miami back in the day. I met him outside of, he reminds me of that guy from the drug video who's like uh, talking about life's good or not life's good or like talking about he's going to be president. It was that God's plan? Yeah, that video, God's plan. And uh, yeah, all he's doing is talking to all the fucking funny people in Miami. But um, what is it? Yeah, I met a guy like that, okay? Like Grand Theft Auto, how you meet strangers. It was literally, he walked up on me and he started doing squats. Okay, and he started talking to my my well, he's my ex-husband, but he was talking to my at the time husband, and he's doing squats, and I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And homeboy started, oh, the reading's over by the way, so I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I wish you luck with figuring that out. I hope I was able to really help give you some clues, and if not, maybe listen to another pile. I don't know, do what you need to. Okay, bye. But yeah, so he comes up to me, uh, not up to me, thank God. He goes up to my man, and he starts doing squats, and I was like, what is this guy doing, really? 
So I ask him, because I mean, I've played Grand Theft Auto. I'm like, I'll talk to the stranger. I'll do it. I have someone with me who's going to, you know, keep me safe. He ain't here. He ain't going to do that to me. You know, it ain't not going to happen. And I'm, me and him can definitely take this motherfucker out easy. You know, even with his squat thrusts. But he starts going in about how the squat thrusts do something to the, to some muscle. It was for men. It was a men's thing. And and believe, yeah, I'm, I'm all feminista too, guys. Like, I'm totally about it. But I'm all about with the mind. And in all reality, listen, men and women got two different bodies. Don't argue with me on that one. So definitely, there's some type of muscle structure down there where squat thrusts for men do something to, to something, something with busting a nut. I don't know. Endurance. It, like, increases your endurance. And he starts telling my husband all about this. And I'm like, I, d- hello, I'm here. And I'm like, are you really talking about your endurance in front of me? Your, your ability to hold it in and all the benefits it gives you? And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? I like walked off and started going and smoking a cigarette. I'm like, let those two talk. And they started talking all about it. And yeah, so as I said, you might be working out. That's literally a picture of that guy right now talking about his squat thrusts. It's like, hey, what the fuck was wrong? That guy must have been awesome. That guy was on some shit, okay? This is before bath salts were really popular, so he might have been on bath salts. Right now, this was before it broke the scene, okay? So, is your mother toxic? Here we go. Option option two. Sorry. I need to get a sip. Hold on. I was telling a silly story that popped out of nowhere about squat thrust. But I want to say, if you're not working on your legs, I want to say, dude, that, that might just be the cards. Literally, that was just a message, like, you got sexy legs and you need to work on them legs. I don't know. Just some squat thrusts, maybe. All right. Fuck, I'm out there doing all sorts of things with my legs. I don't know. Keeping your legs strong. I don't know. Runner's leg. So, okay. Option two, the creator. All right. I want to say, so is your person toxic? All right. We don't know. What is it? What's up with the clouds? Interesting. Why are they looking like that? Anyways. So, is your person toxic? I want to say 50-50. We don't know. All right? We got peacock energy. So, it's like, that means they got, like, the it quality. Okay? So, it's like, how do they strut it, though? Because we got the Lord here, too. So, it's like, they might be real, I want to say, respectable. Okay? With the constancy behind it. So, it's like, they might be respectable. We don't know. Growth. They might have been immature and they grew up. All right? The creator, I want to say, oh, I don't know, though, because look, man, it could be anything. Holy shit. All right, and it's matching the sword. This person may, may be toxic. We're leaning, we're heating up to toxicity here, people. We started at 0%, and now we're shooting to 100. Now we're maybe at like 80, right? What do you need to release? Okay, so this person definitely holds in their emotions. It's a frozen, snowy, they talk about them. It's snowing. They'll discuss them, but they're frozen. Snow melts very easily. It melts a lot easier than ice. So I feel like this person is a bottle popper. That's what it is. This person holds in their emotions and then lets them all out eventually. Creator. Who knows how? I want to say in a different colorful, different way for a different of card, but the creativity card. Okay. They do it in creative ways. Now, are these creative ways toxic? Because creative ways could be art. You know, it could be, I want to say singing, it could be drawing, it could be all sorts of ways to release that bottle. But this person, if they recognize that they're someone that bottle pops, you know, this is, you know, helping you figure out who it is. I want to say we're still 50-50. We're down to 50-50. We were at 80. Now we're 50-50. 50-50% chance that your person is toxic. Okay. Because we don't know what they, how they released this. We got the creator card. That it could be literally a toxic fucking explosion. Okay, literally the type of shit that you need divine protection from. Okay, things like this. Okay, the coffin. But yeah, they like don't wake the sleeping dragon. Okay, that literally could be what we got going on here right now. Okay, hey, what's your name? Oh, maybe they got memory issues. If not, I want to say they try to act like they forgot things. All right. So if they have memory issues, this is someone that has memory issues. And if you know this person doesn't have memory issues, they pretend to for some reason. Th- those, that's a toxic person. All right. So, but that doesn't mean that it's toxic enough for you not to talk to the person. The fish. Okay. So I want to say fish energy. That makes me think of dreams, illusions, and 
being scared. Something about school. I have a feeling something's happened to this person at school. Bullies. There we go. That's what it is. We're talking about toxicity here, people. A bully. Okay. So now we don't know. Were they a bully or were they a bully fighter? Who are they? We're still 50-50, okay? But I want to say brightness with the moon. Some of you are, I want to say some of them at school. Here you go. Here's how you got to find out. You got to know your person. Ask your person what they was up to when they was in school. All right. Literally, this is your clue. All right. So think back. If you know your person, think back to things that they've told you about when they was in school. Were they a bully in school? Or did they, I want to say, or did, or were they a bully fighter? All right. Did they fight bullies? Did they tell people to go fuck themselves? You know, when they would get bullied or have some, see someone else get bullied? Or did they go around bullying people? Okay. So then we got the Eight of Pentacles and the key. So as I said, that's the answer right there. Are they a bully? Do you consider this person to be a bully? Do they bully you? I've been bullied plenty. Ugh. I've been bullied so much by everybody that I stopped caring. So it's like you don't care about it no more. And then something happens where you have something to care about, you know, someone to care about. And it's like, basically, if this person's a bottle popper, they might very well also hold their shit in. And then when they see someone getting, I want to say, bullied, they, I want to say, release that bottle onto them. Full-blown style, man. Like, whoa. Like, let, yeah, you need, like, okay, here we go. This is someone who, when they pop their bottle, you need divine protection from them. All right? There's someone that's going to come, I want to say, and fucking, they're going to come in and just go ham on you. I want to say, and just slice you in half. Literally, like, before you even know it, this person is extremely toxic. All right? But I can't tell if it's for the good side or the bad side. Holy moly. But basically, that's what it is. This person has the ability to, that's the, yeah. Oh, man. All right. Peacock, man. Successful career and absence and growth. I don't know. The ship, they've gone on this journey. This was a long time ago. Whatever happened in in school. Whatever's happened, whatever's ever happened in school, this basically who they were in school dictates, I want to say who they become in life for sure. They, they might change things like this, but I feel like a, a bully is always going to be a bully, man. Unless they, I feel like unless something happens to them that cuts them down. That's what I said. So your person, if your person was a bully in high school, they might've been, I want to say chopped down the side. They might've had something they might've met their match. All right, and their match chopped them down to size, and now they've had a whole change. We don't know. Clouds, King of Wands. That's why I said a King of Wands is like kind of like someone that would be a bully, you know, the type that would bully someone when they have a crush on them. I mean, extreme bullying here. I'm picturing like shoving someone, knocking books out, stuffing people in lockers, like that real type of bullying, not just like walking by and just like saying something rude. Like everyone kind of experiences that trash. But, I mean, this is, like, where someone's extreme, all right? That's what I said. If we're talking about your mama here, your mama was a mean girl, all right? So, it's like, that's what I said. I, <laughs> I fuck, loved a mean girl. I'd love to knock a mean girl's head off, all right? I'd beat a, I'd beat a many a mean girl. Because mean girls like to come at me, and it was like, go fuck yourself. Leave me the fuck alone. Don't make me. Don't make me. That's what I'm saying. Your person might be a don't make me. <laughs> don't make me pull my sword out on you, little one. All right? Don't make me do it. All right? That's how me and that girl got into a street brawl. Because she literally walked around all day telling everyone all these crazy stories that didn't even exist. And it was all because of the guy that she liked, liked me. And it's like, I didn't even know that guy existed. You're a dumb bitch. And I had to deal with so much shit for that. And I didn't have to care about it. And I didn't give a shit about it. But then she actually tried to, I don't know, she like walked by, timing, destiny happened. It was destiny for me to dog that bitch down and beat the dog shit out of her before, you know, she deserved it. So was Kim a bully? Fuck yeah, Kim was a bully. But then what did Kim met? She met, I want to say she got outmatched. She was outmatched. She didn't know because, you know, like I said, I don't really fight and argue with people too much. So that's what I said. She didn't know until she pushed me. She popped the bottle and I actually gave a shit to pop back and I popped back. 
So as I said, you got to talk to this person and know this person. What kind of person were they when they're youth? You know what I mean? Were they the one that I want to say, like, you know, were they the bully or they were the one that could bully the bully? Because that's what it is. There's people out there that are built to bully the bully. And they bully all sorts of ways. Okay? I bully with kindness now. I'm super nice to people. Like, I just, I don't got it in me. And not only that, now I have diabetes. I can't really be out there rah rah ring at people. And I don't even give a shit to do it. As I said, I'm a fight for someone else, the type of person. I'll very rarely ever pipe up for myself. I don't really give a shit that much. I'll just remove myself from the situation and not say anything. And I just go ninja on people, right? Just close the door. But yeah. As I said, you have to clear the fog, get some light in your situation. Look to the space between the trees for answers. So that makes me think of meditations. So if this person, and this is making me think of visions. So I want to say if your person is, has, is someone that's got some spirituality to them, the creator card, if there's someone that's very creative and fun and they have a great side, I feel like this person has both those sides. And they, but they could either be a nasty bully or they could be someone that can that can bully. So it's like... With the fire card, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do they pretend to not know things? I don't know. Okay, this has got to take all this in as one thing. Here we go. So, Camille, peace. Be calm and calm will come. So, that's why I said, if this person was a bully in their life, in, their, in high school, I feel like something happened maybe for the majority of y'all. Something has definitely happened to them to where they are at peace. And they don't, I want to say bully people, they don't. I'm going to say that's clearing the air on it. They definitely, I'm going to say they might have realized that they're a bottle popper and they decided to use it for good. You know, kind of like, I, I don't know. They came light. They got some type of truth on the situation. Maybe, like, that's making me think of a narcissist. Like, 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 a, like we're not like, a, we're not going nasty here. I mean, just like to put a label on it. And they, I want to say, they get outsmarted or something like this. They get out narcissist. It's, it didn't mean like they meet a better narcissist than them and they get narcissist to the dawn. Do you know what I mean? Something like this. Like they, I feel like they, they get outdone. They get outshined and they realize, oh shit, I need to calm down. I don't know. The moon card, not all y'all still 50, 50. Damn, we're still 50, 50. Abracadabra with wings, fantastic, good fortune and lucky chances. Okay. Now that's making me think of abundance and blessings. Okay. Now you must look at this person and see how they're sitting in life. How are they? Are they abundant? Are they settled? Are they happy? Are they well? Are, you know, is life working out? For, how is life working out for them? You know what I mean? Are things going good? Do they have a good job? Do they have friends? Do they, you know what I mean? How is the life looking for them? Are they, or are they the opposite? Are they miserable? Are they alone? Are they throwing things? You know what I mean? Are they still angry having these things, these tantrums, things like this? You know, do they have inspiration in their eyes? Are they someone who's inspired? and they're harvesting in their life. You know, if they are, I don't care what they've came from, they've healed. So they're not toxic anymore. Because I'm telling you, karma does not pay toxicity. Okay? Definitely. So if they're being karmically blessed, I want to say, and, and they feel like they are, like they're living a happy life, truly they are. They're not hiding like, this is making me think of those people on Instagram where they're faking it, you know? I remember I almost bought that T-shirt, but I don't actually use Instagram. And I told myself that's kind of sassy and I don't really want to be rude, you know? But um, it, and that's what I said. It, it's like, it's, it's a little it's a little bit of a mudslinger. It's a little shots fired towards people that, that, that do that on Instagram. We all know they exist, but it's like, so we don't need to, I want to say, point at them and, and talk shit about them. We know you exist. You know, where you fake it till you make it. You know, you sit there and maybe take a picture with a car. That makes me think of us. I heard of a story where someone did that to someone once. And then they ended up getting a whole world of trouble because someone thought that car was theirs. And then they saw the car. I don't remember the story. Someone was telling me a story of someone else's story. That was an interesting story. But my point is, is that, um, um, yeah, like that's like faking that you have this and then acting like that. Like, and then it's making me think of a girl on a, on a television show I watched who was doing that too. Like they take a picture like, oh, yeah, you're having such a great time. And then they go off and like go be depressed. Like they go throw their head in a pillow. So it's like, make sure you're like walking it like you're talking, not you, but make sure that this person walks it like they talk it. Like they have, make sure that they have this energy in them. Because I want to say 50-50 here, people. 50% of you, they're going to have nobility about them. They're going to have dignity about them. They're going to be, they're going to be like, they're going to be a very stand strong person if they're not toxic. If they are toxic, they're going to pretend to be those things and it's just going to fall apart. You're going to have to shine light on them. 
And how do you shine light on them? I want to say by knowing this right here. You got to know, like, what kind of hope and faith do they hold? How abundant are they? How karmically blessed have they been in life? Do they have a happy life truly, you know? Or are they just someone that's faking it, like, like those Instagram fakers? You know, that's what the shirt said. They were like, make sure you're living life as happy as your Instagram makes it look like you are. And I was like, damn, whoever wrote that was slice. So it said slice. Someone was like, whoa. So, yeah. That's why I said it's a little rude, you know, but was that toxic? Was that shirt really toxic or was it just some truth that, you know, so as I said, this person, is, it's 50, 50 people know your person. All right. I want to say, be bold and make the first move. I feel like maybe get to know them growth, grow a new, get a new relationship with this person and find out about their, about their, their life, things they've done, get a judge of their character all right because for some reason they they don't you don't know their character and if you do know their character we're here to maybe hope that it's different so if like if you already know their character if you're someone who grew up with this person and you know the ins and outs you know their whole life story you know you know what i mean i feel like you know they're toxic and that, then they are toxic i'm sorry you're that you're that one percent here so we'll say 99 percent of y'all no no 50 percent 50 50 men 50 percent i can't tell all right <laughs> but definitely i got some clues that indicate there's definitely two different different parties okay two different people you're you're looking at here all right where is where they mean in high school or were they nice that's literally what i what you need to find out okay so whew, option three i'm getting hot it's getting hot out here oh god okay option three the king okay so this is definitely a parental figure of yours. I want to say just off rip. And if it's not imagination station, it's someone that you would consider a parental figure. I want to say someone that has authority. Okay. So now back to the parental figure, um, sword. I want to say they're the person that holds the sword in the house. So I want to say they're the protector of the house. All right. Luck is on your side. Okay. Here's how it's been working out. Are they, I want to say, are they toxic? We don't know. The peacock card is it can be toxic because it's like all about that ego. Okay. And then we got the King card. That's all about the ego too. Okay. We got a lot of sons. Okay. Be bold and make the first move. This makes me think your person shy a bit. Um, and because that's the only card that doesn't have any sunlight in it. So it's like, they don't, they're not bold and they don't make the first move unless they, I feel like unless they know it's a sure bet. Like, it's a sure shot. Like, they know they can do it. They know they can hit the shot, so then they'll take the shot. They won't do it unless they can take, unless they know they can take the shot. Okay, successful career, absence. What is not here is the key. So that makes me think they're not in your life anymore. Peace, and it's like, I feel like that makes you feel at peace. Okay, so this is definitely a real masculine energy, all right? So if you came here for your mom, notice your mom is a real masculine energy, all right? She might have been a sing sing single mother. You know, she might have had to been the one to hold down the fort. She might have been the one to have a baseball bat next to her bed so that when things went down outside, she had a, she had a way to keep y'all safe. Okay, that's a hell of an extreme story. But yeah, that's what came to mind instantly. I'm just going to go with it because I'm hot. <laughs> okay, extra large. So it's like something with candles. I want to say if you wanted, so we're here to work here with the pretenses that they are toxic. All right. So we even got the card that says, yeah, they're toxic. Right. But we don't know if it's, if, if it's for real, because it, at the end of the day is, are you wrong? So it's like, we're trying to prove you wrong. So I want to say definitely there's some of this, but this could easily be toxic energy, but it's not definite yet. This is, I'm so far describing someone else with a, with regality to them, someone with some respect to them. We even got the Lord card over here. So it's like they got some respect to them, all right? But is it all in their head? <laughs> do, they, do they have a grand, do, do, grand, you know what I mean? Are they covert narcissists, basically? I don't know. Queen of Swords. King and Queen. I want to say this is someone, yeah, this is likely your mom, mom and dad, maybe. Maybe this includes both parents. Okay, that's what it is. I want to say you have to you have to judge on the way that okay. So how are you gonna know? Because right now we're at, we were at we were at a hundred percent. We're like they're toxic, and then I pull out the peacock card, and the way the peacock looks in that card, we don't know. So it's shooting us down, shot shot us down to zero. Because I'm cleaning the slate, we don't know. And I want to say this person has peace. 
or the ability to obtain peace. We have the lamb here, so they might be religious, okay? So they might spit a good game. Talking about peace, love, and harmony, they might spit a good peace game, all right? King energy, we have no idea at the end of the day. Look, they're even hiding their palm. I don't trust people that hide their palms. If you hide your palm, it's like what you hide, and it's on a subconscious level. To hold your palm out, it's to show exactly who you are to the world. Everything about it. You wouldn't believe it. You can find out your genetics and everything through your palm. Okay? And you can find out all their life histories too. So it's like everything is in there. And also where they're going and where they've been. And also gifts. Lots of your gifts are located in your palm. Okay? You can know exactly what type of gifts you have for the world. Like natural talents and things like this. So anyone that naturally hides their palms, it's because they don't want you to see them. Okay? It's on a deep, deep, that's on a real deep, yeah, it's on a real deep soul level, people, okay? You gotta tap into your spirituality to get to that one. But yeah, that's definitely something. So I want to say, do they, are they someone, I want to say, that makes me think of someone who's like, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Like, they, they definitely, I want to say, shove blame, shove blame. So if there's someone that's going like that all the time, yeah, people show you their palms, especially if you live with them, they're going to see them. But I mean, someone that's someone that, like, if they're, they're afraid to show their palms to people. Like, if this person is someone, there you go. If this is someone who shows their palm to you, like, there's someone that always waves with a with a palm, a palm flash. And I can't, it makes me think of my, my uh, when I go to the corner store. Every time I go to the store, I flash my palm and I wave. I, that's how I wave. I wave to people like this all the time, you know? Just always, or go like this, or, you know, always put my palm out there. I don't know why. It's a subconscious thing. I want people to know exactly who I am. I'm misread. I'm like, yo, look, here I am. Please read me. <laughs> but no one reads me because no one reads palms. But it's still, like I said, it's subconscious. So this person is someone that does not do something like this. They would be someone, I want to say that, yeah, they hide their palm in a sense. They, they don't know their own destiny. They don't know nothing about themselves. That means it's self-identity. That's what I said. They have a fake inflated ego. So it's like this person, okay, so now we're still, I'm going to say we're, we're leaning into more of it being definitely a toxic person. So now instead of being 50% toxic, 50% not toxic, we are at, 50, uh, so I'm going to say 60, 60% toxic, 70% toxic, all right, and only like 40%, 30, 40% of y'all non-toxic. I'm sorry, the Pete's card's going to have to get scooted over. Some of you, is, yeah, okay. Some of you, I want to say they talk that fake, that fake religion too. Like they talk like they got connections. They, they, they got spirit. They got this, yeah, something like this. Okay, both parties, all the people are going to be talking like this. But the main energy that's taking over right now is someone that's fake about it. All right, they want to say that, but there's definitely, I'm going to say, thirty to forty percent of you where they're definitely real about their their spirituality. All right. Haughtiness. Okay, that's the peacock card with the feathers down. I guess that's more peacockness. That's making me think of being angry. Like this person must be very good looking. And I feel like even though they're good looking, they haven't been successful. Okay, so that's another clue. Does this person give a shit about their looks or do they put looks on a pedestal to where they think that it gets them places in life? Do they think that looks actually achieve things for them? Okay, get real. <laughs> That's like the easiest play in the book, people. Think about that. Using your looks or your, you know, your, your sex, I want to say your sexual energy, using any sexual energy to get things you want. It's right next to the bouquet. So it's like gifts. So that's why I said hustle, hustling, uh, it, uh, using your, your, your feminine wiles, so to speak, you know, to get things. It's like, who does that? I want to say people that, that they can't get things themselves, but, um, it's like, that's, uh, yeah, no, I don't know. That's why I said, this person is someone that I want to say it, it might look good. I want to say they might have took a hit to their ego, so they might not be looking so good right now. Maybe they got mom bod, dad bod, something like this, and they ain't looking too sexy right now, all right? So it's like, that's what it is. If this person doesn't, isn't someone that can, I want to say, appreciate their sex appeal no matter what the day is, all right? They know that they're good looking, then they're part of the peaceful side, okay? This peaceful side's getting less and less. We're down to maybe 30% for sure, Okay. And I feel like that makes them, I want to say, salty as fuck. They salty as fuck because they don't get recognition. They're like, why don't people notice me? I'm a king. I'm this. I'm a queen. I'm so gorgeous. I'm the shit. I'm, I'm fantastic. But yet nothing is, uh, I want to say, nothing is ever sprouting. And I want to say uh, nothing's ever, you know what I mean? So I feel like inspiration, yeah, they got to get some inspiration. They don't know themselves. They don't know who they are. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. 
Okay, time. Embracing the dew drops of life before they disappear with the morning sun. Okay, so it's like, I feel like this is someone that spends a lot of time on their appearance. Oh, they spend a lot of time on their fucking hair. Exactly. Like, this is someone who probably goes and gets their hair cut every week. And they go get their hair they go get their hair done every week. They might actually go to a salon to get blowouts. Like male or female, that works both ways. But I'm specifically thinking of women, like a woman that goes to the salon like at least once a week or maybe daily. Who the fuck knows? Okay, because it's the king and queen card at the end of the day. So it's like there, there might be a lot of money involved here. So it's like this is someone that goes and pampers themselves. So that's why I said, how are they pampering themselves? Do they pamper themselves? I want to say... Uh, like I want to say nicely going to the salon and getting yourself pampered ain't no bad but you don't need to go there every week it's like getting a haircut every week I don't know it's exhausting it's like who the hell wants to do that this person I feel like puts so much fucking pressure on it all right yeah you might want to get a haircut every week like I just make me think of a guy a man has to go get a haircut every week to keep his haircut right men are like cartoon characters with their haircuts and they got to maintain that shit they got to hold that shit down all right so it's like they can't, it's hard to cut your own hair. I will admit with women, it's very easy. I can just, I just bend over and I cut that shit. But, um, and I style it too. I can give myself my, I do my own hair. Right. And like, I've done all sorts of hairstyles, dye jobs, everything. I have dye right now. I'm supposed to, I've done other people's hair too. Like I'm great at cutting hair. It's just natural for me. So it's like, but this person is like, I want to say they, they probably need someone else to do their hair, but, and maybe if they don't get their hair done, they're a mess. That's why I said, it's making me think of someone that has to go to bar. We got a lot of ma masculine energy here. So it's like, this person has to go to get maintained, right? And a lot of men have to get maintained. Some men go get the full shave and everything done at their barber. And it's like, because th that they need to get maintained, but it's like, how do they act when they can't be maintained? Do they act like they can't be seen anymore? I don't look at me. I'm ugly. I'm hideous. Okay. Or are they realistic about it? Do they come to terms that sometimes they're not going to be a prom queen or a prom king? You know, like, so you're not always going to look your most fabulous. You know, like where where does that lie? And I want to say for 80% of you now, 75% of you, we're at 75, 70 to 75% of y'all. This person needs other people to make them feel pretty, so they have to go out and get themselves all pretty and get their nails done every week. If it's so like get their nails done, get their hair done, and it's not about self love. It's not. A, it's not to give them some type of love. Like I know people that get their. Listen, I had friends in schools, and they would get they would get their nails done. They were not getting it done for any other reason other than themselves. They absolutely loved having nails, and they didn't have nails. Their nails wouldn't grow properly, things like this. They chewed their nails. So they would get fake nails done and they would get designs on them and pretty, and it would be like a, a self-identity for them. So as I said, I'm not shitting on anybody that goes out and gets things done for themselves, okay? I'm saying that there's a portion of people that are doing it for, I want to say, because they feel like they have to in order for the world to accept them. It's not for some self-love stuff. Like it's not for, for happiness. It's for that. So it's like, yeah, I feel like with time, I feel like it's tricky. It's some, This is something you have to know over time. Luck is on your side. I feel like they're going to show you this. They're going to be like this, I want to say, naturally. And you're going to be able to figure out who's who easily. So, yeah, so I said 25% of y'all, they are not toxic. And so far, 75% of y'all, they very much are. Stock. Oh, good. That's what I'm saying. They might even be someone that stalks people. All right. Listen. All right. So that's why I said the whole, we're talking about this person as a whole. So this person definitely has that energy, whether they're peaceful or not. I want to say they got a detective. They're a detective. And they can, I want to say they could, the pace must abate before it's too late. I feel like they're the best detective. All right. So that's why I said this person's got a real good intellect. Mm -hmm. So they pay attention to things and they pay attention to what people like and they pay attention to all that stuff. But what do they do with the knowledge? Okay, what do they do with what they collect? Do they actually sit there and stalk people and then try to, I want to say, become something that they like? Like, you know what I mean? They go to the barbershop and then they change who they are just to be something that you like. Like, or do they, like, if you said, oh, I like girls with short hair, are they the type to go out and cut their hair short for them? Like, you know what I mean? Or do they, you know, do what they like? You know, if it's someone that's just, I want to say, sticks to their own identity, knows, has self-identity, that fire is lit, that it's not hidden behind a palm. They don't hide their self-identity. They know exactly who they are. 
I want to say. I want the, 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 the st- they got stalker energy. That makes me think that they could go crazy. <laughs> but that makes me think about fun crazy because we got peace, peace in mind. So that makes me think that they stalk. They could stalk people, slow down. This isn't something that they actually do. That's what it is. They got the ability, I want to say, to track people down. They can hunt people down. That's like bounty hunter energy over here. And I feel like that's only for the 25% of y'all. That's how you'll know. Are they someone that can sniff it out, sniff out details and be real? You know, what I mean? Both of them are going to be able to do it, I feel like. One's, the 25% they're going to be able to do it better. But it's going to be for good reasons. So it's like if they were to get hired, this person would try to find their lover in the, with their detective skills. And this person, if they were to get hired, like I'm thinking like with police departments and looking for detectiving and things like this, I feel like this person is going to try to find, I want to say, what's the most important. And they're not, they're going to be non-biased. I don't know that. I could never understand that, that, that expression bias. I don't know what it means specifically. Are they saying that like, you know what I mean? Basically this person's not going to get involved. This person's going to be able to have judgments to them. So it's like, they're not going to be I want to say they're going to be able to pull themselves out of the picture and not be emotionally, emotionally involved. And I mean, when they're looking into something. So it's like, if you ever date this, like this, if this is someone, we're talking about family members here, mostly first and foremost of parents. So as I'm saying, but for you, those of you that are here for entertainment, like, and also for those of you that are not, to put an example on it, if this was someone that you were dating, you know, and you went to date them, they would look all into you, A to Z. They'd be like, okay, I need to know everything about this person. But how do they go about it? I want to say peace. If they go about it, I want to say all natural. Like they just really get to know you. They ask you any question, no ifs, ands, or buts. They take time. They want to get to know you. They listen. They ask details. They're curious. You know, I want to say they are not toxic. All right. That's what they're doing. They're literally trying to get to know you. And that's how they stalk. That's how they stalk you by getting to know all the fine details about you. They, you know, they crack you open like a book and they pull out a magnifying glass and they get to know you. All right. But then for the for the 75 percent, almost even 80, maybe we don't know. We still got a few cards for those. That's more so they're um, I feel like it's just so that they can I want to say fool you. OK, because as I said, covert narcissism was coming in in the beginning here. All right. So that's about put on a mask. It's like they're building a mask for you. They're becoming I want to say a build a build a, a build a bear. <laughs> no, um, um. Like a build a bitch, that's what it is. A build a bitch. They're becoming a build a bitch. Like they're trying to become who, who they think. You know, what I mean, they're looking for love, and they're trying to become who, who, who their lover is gonna want to be. They're not, but they're not staying true to who they are. Toxic, 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 toxic. The healing card. They need to heal from that shit. Okay, yeah. This person, I feel like, has healed from things like this. This person maybe had identity crisis, and I feel like they got a fire in them, and they maybe they never struggled with it, but um. They definitely have the same, they, they're, they're having the same story as this person. But at the end of the day, you're 80% of you, we're up to 80, 80% of you are, I want to say, a crazy stalker that needs to go heal. You need to get the fuck away from them. You got to take time out. What the fuck? remember that I own a phone. I fucking hate phones. All right. Sorry. Literally stresses me out. You know, I can't be stressed right now. I'm trying to read for y'all. So, okay, back to what I was doing. So embracing the dew drops of uh, in, embracing the dew drops of life before they disappear with the morning sun. So that's what I said. This is someone that I want to say they seize the opportunities for negative reasons and like I said, they become a build a bitch and they try to be exactly who you are one day only to flip the wig, flip the script on you. And then I want to say, show you that because they, like, they don't know who they are. So they have a collapse. I want to say, oh, goodness, that, that shit threw me off. I don't even remember what I was talking about. So then we got the bear card. I'm going to have to literally put that phone away when I do readings now. I never thought that they, I never thought I'd ever, who the fuck wants to talk to me so much. All right. So. okay so the bear card i want to say that goes with the peace card okay that's about actually being a king or a queen i feel like that's what it is like they both had to walk the path like whatever side you resonate with they both had to walk this path of nobility and learning how to be learning themselves and becoming themselves and things like this and some of them passed and some of them have failed all right 
some of them I want to say are like a, a cute little poo bear. I even mentioned the build a build a bear. That's what I'm saying. Some of them are a build a bear. Some of them are not really filled with any stuffing at all. Okay, and they 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 take other people's stuffing to fill it. And I say, literally, I now I'm pushing more at ninety percent. Ninety percent of you, this person, like I said they're they're full of themselves they need other people to make them feel good they they act like they're this that and the other but they're not they act like they're religious but they're not they act like they got something but they don't they pretend xyz reasons they, i mean if this is a woman they pretend they have this they pretend they have that they, you know there's no peace in this person and oh yeah sad in reverse yeah that shit i ain't sad i feel like i ain't even sad for them because if it's what i think it is like if i've met people like this and it's like i can't be sad for those people they've had time after time to i want to say the answer is literally self-identity and if they could not fucking I want to say, I feel like people have told this person before exactly what they need to do to change time after time, what they need to do to heal. And they don't. So that's why I said, if this is someone that has healed, this candle's lit and peace is there. It ain't coming over here. Sad in reverse. I want to say, don't be sad for them. Just let that, that's who they are. All right. But for the 10% of y'all where, I, like I said, that 10% of y'all just know that there is, there's a 10% of this is not toxic. All right. There, there it is, the answer. For, there it is, even with the burn on it. There we go. Who is the peace? How are you going to know if they're peaceful? I'm going to say someone's smoking pot. They could be smoking pot too. Anyone could be smoking pot. But I feel like something with the beach and not being sad. I feel like this person goes, to the, people go to the beach. And, and yeah, all, both of these people are going to be people that go to the beach. Yeah, both of the, both of the, whatever party you're resonating with. They're both going to be beach loving and uh, and super happy. So it's like, walk it like I talk it, all right? Who really is going to the beach and being happy? Whoever is really actually doing it, you know? Whoever is really going out to the beach and being happy, you know what I mean? I mean, people, if things happen. The bear card, it might not be time. There might be reasons for what, like, don't take this literally. I mean, but who is actually out there seizing life? Who has a history of it? I want to say you got to look at their track record. Who actually, yeah, stock, you might have to look into them more. You know, study them, stalk them a little. Okay. For you know what I mean? And I want to say, yeah, find out about their hobbies and their pastimes and their 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 personal likes and dislikes. If this person has none, I want to say they steal other people's. They have they have likes that anything they told you they liked, it's because someone else liked it and they just thought it was a good idea to say, like they thought you would like that they like it. That's what I'm saying. It's like this person's gonna try to crowd please, crowd pleaser. All right. They're not truthful though. And I, because the bear card popped out, I feel like that kind of upped it more. It's not so much 10%, it's more like maybe 15%. So we've got a little bit more. There's a few people in here that are that are that you were wrong about. All right. But 85, 85% of y'all, not happening. All right, stars, reverse. I mean, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was sideways. Stars, and it was the six of cups. So it's like, I feel like, yeah, um, look into it. Maybe the beach is a clue with the past. Does this person talk about, like, living at the beach and they've never been at the beach? As I said, this person displays a lifestyle, that's going to be your kicker, right? How are you going to know? Are you the 15% where they're not toxic and they're, you know what I mean? And you were wrong, you know what I mean? Because I want to prove you wrong, you know what I mean? But only 15% of you got proven wrong today, I feel. And um, for the rest of you, it's like, walk it like I talk it, literally, all right? ask them things talk about things with them, things in the absence, so parts where you weren't around. Try to find out more about them. All right. Yes. No more about their life. Get so yeah. Be bold and make the first move. Don't be afraid to ask this person. Listen. If there's someone that hides their palms, then that's gonna get rid of them because they're not gonna like you asking them all these questions because they're gonna be like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. There are people that don't know. So that's why I said that's not the kicker. But it'll make them run away. That's for sure. It'll make them get the fuck out of you. you won't, they won't. They won't want to bother with you because you're gonna be like talking too much. You're gonna be. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna be stealing the show from them. You know. So it's like that's not happening. 
So the ones that are peaceful, the 15% here, I feel like the, those are going to be the ones that are, they're, they're going to be, they're going to have an answer for you. If it's a tricky question, you know, the, they might not know how to answer it, but they're definitely going to be wanting to answer it. This person's not going to want to hide their palms from you, so to speak. This person's going to want to wave them in your face. And I want to say, tell you everything about them. They want to tell you about their journey in life. And I want to say they want to tell you maybe the ups and downs and all the things they've had to go through to become the king or queen. You know, they're not going to hide those things because I feel like they've obtained self-identity. They know themselves. So you could ask them questions and they know, they know what they like. They know about them. They might not know too much about everything. Like they might not have experienced a bunch of things, but if you ask them like, Hey, do you like your hair like this? They're going to have an opinion. They're going to be like, no, I like my hair like this. And that there's an, there's an, there's an authenticity to the person. Okay. A deep one that you're going to be able to see clear as a bell. And if you can't see it, that means they're toxic. And okay. So I don't know what to tell you there. Okay, so next is going to be, so yes, thank you, uh, John V or, or Han V. I'm not sure how to say it. And it's, is, that was, is your mother toxic? But I trans changed it to, is your person toxic or are you wrong? Okay, but I still kept mommy in mind for us first and foremost, because you, like I said, you're the requester and I, I keep you first and this is the closest I can come to personals. So I try to keep you in mind the most. Okay, so San Yukta. All right, that's what's next. Or Sanya Ukta, Sanya Ukta, whatever. And it's what do they find physically attractive about you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. so we're gonna be. I want to say it's gonna be one of those one on one gas you up. I'm gonna be gassing you up. We're gonna be talking about all the sexy things about you from your person and what your person thinks is sexy about you. Okay, so get ready. I want to say get a snack. Okay. When that one comes out, because it's going to be, I'm going to work really hard. I can go there, right? I'm going to really try to go there for you. <laughs> so I hope that was good. And I hope uh, what comes after that, though, it's from life is what, and it's messages from your guides, just random messages you need to hear from your guides. Okay. So I hope that was good. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it brought you some insight. Like I said, conversations and talking to people, don't take this as fact. Okay. This is like I said, I threw some percentages out there. It's up to you to know which percentage you are. Okay. So you have a good day. Bye.